It's me again, Gaston, and in today's video, let's talk about that lingering potential brand new Canon EOS R5 firmware update. Now, this one is going to be version 1.3.0, and apparently it's going to include a lot of the things that you have been asking, so let's talk about it. All right, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Gaston right here. And if you're new to this place, I do gear reviews about photography, videos, and I'm also giving away a brand new G and Crane 2S. So if you want to win one for free, read the rules right next to me. I'll be listing them down in the description as well. And the announcement is going to happen on April 5th. Good luck to all of you guys. All right, so let's talk about the Canon EOS R5 because if you want to go and buy a Canon EOS R5 right now, Chances are that you're going to have a hard time unless you have a hookup or you actually overpay for the camera. I've seen the camera going for an additional $2,000 over MSRP, which is actually bananas. But I mean, I'm not going to lie. The Canon EOS R5 is a great camera despite the limitations that I had at the beginning. Now it's a really nice camera, especially if you're considering it only for photography, which is actually what I've been doing the most with the camera. Now, Canon with this firmware update is going to be introducing new features and the first one is going to be the addition on Canon Cinema Roll Line. Now this has been a feature that a lot of people have been screaming since the beginning and apparently Canon is going to deliver at this time. But before we continue, let's also talk about the Canon EOS R6 and the 1DX Mark III because those are cameras that are not getting the same love as the Canon EOS R5 and some of the R6 and 1DX Mark III users are getting a little bit pissed off. They would like to see a little bit more of action coming from Canon. All right, so moving up with the features of this firmware. Now, the next thing that we know that this firmware is going to add, and this one is actually ridiculous, but finally, we are going to have 1080p at 120 frames per second. Now, for some strange reason, Canon didn't think that that was a priority or something that they should have included from the get go. Now, the camera does 8K up to 30p, it does 4K up to 120 frames per second, but for some reason, they couldn't figure it out how to enable the camera to record at 1080p at 120 frames per second. All right, so apparently it's gonna be fixed with this firmware update. Now, the other one is also very important because one of the things that the Canon EOS R5 has been criticized in video was, you know, the dynamic range that the camera has. Apparently, the dynamic range is about 11 to 11.5 11 stops. And when you compare this camera with other, you know, Sony cameras that have been released, you know, they actually shoot for 13 and 13.5 13 uh, stops of dynamic range. So Canon, what they're going to do is we, they're going to include C-Log3 in the camera finally. And once again, I think that should have been a feature that they should have included from the very beginning. But you're going to be able to extract now the utmost dynamic range from the sensor. That's going to be awesome. But even if it does 12 or 12.5, that's going to be a lot better than just 11. Now, there is another one. Apparently, we're going to have at least one brand new codec. What that codec is going to be, we don't know, but apparently this firmware is going to be uh, bringing a brand new codec. And also, we are going to see a lot of bug fixes in this camera because remember, the Canon EOS R5 still no perfect. You know, the recording limit is still there. And hopefully, Canon is going to be addressing some of those limitations. Now, because I don't film videos so much with the Canon EOS R5, I think that we still have the limitations in 30 minutes and correct me from wrong, but if that's not the case, Canon should completely remove that limitation because most of the cameras that are being released right now don't have the problem. Sony just to mention a few. So guys, if you've been waiting for this firmware update, apparently it's on its way. And the word says that a lot of people were supposed to receive the firmware for testing around February, but that hasn't happened yet. So apparently there are some delays. So guys, what other feature you would like to see in this firmware update Canon EOS R5 release? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, subscribe to this channel for more content like this one. I will see you in the next video.